Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Lazy Gamer Review. This week we're tackling the first of the big 4-on-1 multiplayer games. I'm as usual, your host Darren Bortes, and I'm joined by my highly evolved co-host and reviewer, Zoe Hawkins. Hello everyone, I'm a <laughs> highly evolved, that's so me. Yeah, well, you can probably pronounce things better than I can, so I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. Oh, shit. <laughs> Okay, so it's evolved. It's the first, as I said, of the big four-on-one games. It's the big new kind of genre that all the um, distributors and publishers are really keen on pumping out. And it's finally here. Evolve is finally here. And you are the person, the lucky person, who's busy reviewing it for us. Indeed, indeed. I, I've been lucky sort of from day one with Evolve. Like, I got to go to preview events and then play at E3 and Gamescom and then, you know, I got hands-on with the beta. Now I am the, the go-to lady for the review. Yes, you are. So, let's get the show on the road. Let's get into the topics of Evolve. So, I'm going to hit you with the first one. Core gameplay. Talk to us about the core gameplay of Evolve. Well, it's it's really interesting because depending on whether you take on the role of hunter or the monster, it completely turns everything on its head. So, you're either playing a cooperative first-person shooter um, where you're hunting down the monster and killing it, or you're playing a solo high stress, everyone's trying to kill you, and um, third person action game. So it really varies depending on which role you take on. And then even within that, whether you play as the medic or the support or the assault um, or the trapper is also a completely different experience, which is what adds to the replayability. So um, for example, I generally prefer to play as the monster, but then you can't play with your friends. So if you want to play with your friends, you have to take on a cooperative role. And I thought I would really prefer the medic or the support, and while I still do really like those roles, I'm actually really getting into the trapper role, which seemed so difficult at first, and now I'm actually really finding fun. I'm slowly learning that I shouldn't shoot the, the monster with that healing gun if I'm playing as the medic. Yeah, that, that won't work well, I am. No, I, I absolutely suck at this game so far. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not the easiest game to learn, and that's the thing that I think, you know, there's a tutorial that you can do, but it's really slow and boring, so obviously everyone is going to skip it. Like, I don't think anyone is going to go through the full tutorial for all the process. So I think we're, it's more likely that we're going to see, um, you know, people really having a steep learning curve where they don't even know how to jump. I mean, when I played um, with you guys yesterday, you didn't even know how to turn your maps on. I mean, it's just stuff like that. That but... was freaking amazing figuring that out. I know, I know, and it's one of those things where until you, you know, push random buttons and go, oh, what did I do? How did that happen? You don't even know functionality exists. And I think that's the thing with Evolve is there's so much to it, but it, it really takes a lot of getting used to to figure out your own play style and special things that you can do and, and the various abilities that they each have. And it just changes um, the entire experience, the entire core gameplay once you actually know what you're doing. I mean, Jeff and I, we've been fortunate enough to, to join you for this game, to actually also get our hands on and see what it's like, you know, when we're playing with friends and such. But you've, you've told us this in the past before from events and such, and I have to agree with you. The game has a hell of a lot of grinding to do over the uh, trio of monsters and the baker's d dozen of uh, hunters. Yeah, that's the thing that I'm not really thinking was as well thought out as it should have been. Um, I really enjoy the game and I'm happy to play it enough to grind up, if that makes sense, but I don't want to grind. <laughs> so, you know, there's character progression where you as a player level up, you know, the more things you do and you do them well and all of that, you level up and unlock badges and things like that. But in order to actually unlock the new hunters and the new monsters, you have to play as those classes, which in theory would be fine. Except it's not like, oh, well, you completed 10 games as a medic and therefore you get the new medic character to unlock. It's more like, oh, well, you've done this much damage with each of the various abilities of that class and therefore you get the new character. So if, like me, you tend to favor one or the other weapon or not use the certain ability as much, you're never going to unlock that next tier character who actually might be better suited to your natural playstyle. Absolutely. I mean, I dig playing as the assault lately because I've got that cool lightning gun which really compensates for the fact that I have such a terrible aim. But I'm just not fast enough about laying down mines for the monster unless it gets to stage 3 and you have to go, you know, defend that power relay. It, it just doesn't bother me and it does impact yeah. me. I want to play as high the one of the other assault classes because they look even better. 
Yeah, that's just it. It's like I really enjoy Hyde as an assault. I really enjoy the second tier um, support. The only medic I really like is a third tier, which means in order to get there, I'm going to have to play with the ones I don't like and, you know, level them up. And it just starts to feel like, well, I'm not actually playing because I want to play. I'm playing because one day I'll get to play the thing I want to play. And that makes it feel like a grind. Um, instead of it just being like, oh, you've played enough of the game in general that you know how to bring up your minimap, presumably, and how to, you know, use your jetpack efficiently, we'll just give you a new character. Here's the big question, though. Now, Evolve it will allow you to play solo modes. It has plenty of those options available for you. But the big hook here is multiplayer with friends and strangers. So is it a yay or nay with the multiplayer so far for you? Well, I'm normally just a single player kind of gal. Like I'm not generally one of those people who has like 15 friends on WhatsApp to say like, hey guys, let's play games. Um, really, really enjoy this game with co-op with friends. And that's the big caveat is like, I really enjoyed playing it because we, we all played. We had a little lazy gamer click <laughs> game last night. Except for Sandy, Xbox yeah, One fanatic. Shame. Um, but it was really nice. Like, you know, we all know each other, so it's jokey. It's fun in the chat. If we mess up, it's just kind of entertaining rather than frustrating. And it doesn't feel competitive between us. We're cooperating and trying to figure out the game and do well. And if we suck, we don't really take it personally. Um, as soon as you, you put just blame me. Yeah, yes, exactly. <laughs> and, but as soon as you put a stranger in the mix, it really changes that whole dynamic because you know then everyone is playing to their roles and maybe this one isn't very good and they get critical. I mean, even we're not even like a day into launch and the guy was like, whoever's playing as support needs to do this and this. And it's like, you know, shut up. That's what we want to do. Yeah, I hear that. I mean, I think Turtle Rock have kind of underestimated the fact that, you know, you don't want you to talk to strangers online. I mean, screw those guys. <laughs> People and are dicks online. Like, is Evolve really relies on cooperation, even more than Left 4 Dead, even more than any of the, the other games. You know, if your medic falls behind and gets eaten by a plant, you have to go back and save them or your whole team is going to die. And that's where a lot of issues are going to come in. You know, everyone needs a headset. And even though, you know, obviously all the consoles come with a headset that people may or may not break when putting into their controllers. Um, I heard that. <laughs> It's still a thing where you have to communicate and you have to basically play well with others, which we know hasn't worked out well since kindergarten. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's a hard way not to talk to strangers on online games. But beyond that, what about the uh, graphics and sound design of this game? How does it feel to you, the person who's played it on PC and PlayStation 4? What do you think? Um, first of all, the game is gorgeous. I mean, even on PS4, you know, even on the, the underpowered consoles or whatever you want to call it, the game is still beautiful. It's not as beautiful as it was on PC. Like, I can't even lie. I noticed a visual downgrade when I moved from playing it on PC to playing it on PS4. Like, it's a noticeable, the textures aren't as nice, all of that. It's still gorgeous. I'm not trying to say it's not a pretty game. Um, but it's just not the same way. Uh, what's genius though is the sound design. I don't know if you picked up on it when you've played it, but as you're running around, you can actually hear the monster stomping or breathing or crackling, depending on who, which monster it is. You know, you can hear things in the environment, the birds, where they're flying from, stuff like that, that really makes you feel like, okay, you know, you're tracking down this monster and you actually can use your ears to try and find it. I like that I could feel that the monster was nearby with the uh, just a, the uh, dual shock rumble in the controller. That's just a nice little touch that I, I appreciate it. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely, and that's the immersive kind of gameplay. That's just beautiful design. I mean, you really can't fault them on that. That design choices and, and those things are just really, really well executed in the game, and it really feels immersive. You really do begin to feel like you're on sheer and hunting down this monster, and the frustration of not finding the monster and all of that becomes very realistic. I feel that Evolve's going to be the kind of game that's going to have, you know, weekly patches and tweaks to it. And do you think at the moment that it does need that kind of tweaking? Is it, you know, a bit overpowered with certain characters yet? Yeah, it definitely needs some rebalancing. And, you know, I can't really blame the guys, although we will. <laughs> but, you know, until they have how many millions of games 
in data to say, oh, this gun is overpowered, this monster's one ability is overpowered or underpowered or whatever. You know, until they do that sort of balancing, it's mostly a balanced experience, but not once you have raids. Uh, at least <sighs> the starting, the starting hunters. I think that's the big difference is Wraith is totally balanced if you've got tier two and tier three hunters. But, you know, if you go up against someone who's unlocked the Wraith or if the AI uses the Wraith, using your tier one hunters it's really not well suited to catching that particular monster so let's evolve in a nutshell so zoe give us a final score give us the almighty number so that people can agree or disagree with you in your closing remarks on evolve okay so i know i'm gonna get hate for this like i can feel the internet breathing down my neck already but for me evolve is getting a 7.2 um yeah, it was a 7.5, it was a 7, it's a 7.2 for me. And just because when it comes together and you play with friends and everyone is actually playing the way they're supposed to, it's fantastic and it's a brilliant game. But the problem is that ideal gaming situation just doesn't happen in real life. Um, you know, if you've got a group of friends that you can reliably play with all the time, you're going to love this game and it's going to be a 9 for you or whatever. Um, but if you do play with strangers, they're going to be in it for their own means and ends and games and all of that. Um, and they just don't work together. They just don't offer the same kind of gameplay that the Evolve developers were trying to bring us. And it's unfortunate because it has glimmers of being this fantastic game, but it just doesn't deliver consistently. Yeah. Weak of 